Windows Fundamentals 1. Okay, in part one of Windows Fundamental module, we'll start our journey learning about the Windows desktop, the NTFS file system, the USC, and the control panel, and much more. So here is where you would deploy your machine. I already have my machine deployed it. And right here you have your IP address, user, and administrator. Uh, you could do this two ways, uh, through RDP. Um, if you go onto your computer, RDP, remote desktop connection, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna have to use a uh, Try Hacks Me VPN, or if you have a subscription, you could just start the machine. I have the subscription, so I will do this follow along through their virtual box. Task two, Windows edition. So here is an overview of Windows. We have Windows 7, Windows 10. Windows 10 comes in two flavors, Home and Pro. You can read the differences here. Um, so this is gonna be crucial for our question. So, uh, update, as of June 2021, Microsoft announced the retirement dates of Windows 10. Okay, so the first question, what encryption can you enable on Pro that you can't enable in Home? I have how we got this answer. Uh, what's the device encryption? Not right here, BitLocker encryption. So you see Windows 10 Home doesn't have a check. Windows 10 Pro does. If your device is lost or stolen, BitLocker and BitLocker to go, put everything on lockdown so no one else can access your system or data. So what encryption can you enable on Pro that you can enable in Home? And the answer is BitLocker. Task three, the desktop GUI. The Windows desktop, AKA the graphical user interface, GUI. So here we'll be going over the GUI. Um, pretty sure many of you are familiar with Windows 10 or Windows in general is one of the most popular systems, operating systems. So we'll just scroll down to the answers and I will show you how to get the answers. So which, which selections will hide, disable the search box? So if we right click here, um, search, if we click hidden, our search box is hidden. So our answer, first answer is hidden. Let's revert back. Well, I guess it doesn't want to. Okay, so let's move along. Which selection will hide, disable the tax view button? It would be this show tax view button. Now we have both hidden. And the third question, besides clock and network, what other icon is visible in the notification area? So we have our network. Uh, this is our clock. And this is what we call the action center. Uh, let's see what it says for him. Try right clicking the icon. Open action center. If we open it, this is our action center. And that is our answer. Now we move along to tax four, the file system. So this right here goes over all the file system, FAT16, FAT32, and the one that's mainly used is NTFS, New Technology File System. Gives you an overview of NTFS. Um, right here, if you click on your file explorer, you can go to your C drive, properties, and it shows it's NTFS. And here are your permissions. Here's an overview of the meaning of each permission and how it applies to a file and a folder. Um, it shows you how to go over the security tab and much more. Okay, so the question is, what is the meaning of NTFS? And as we saw here, NTFS is new technology file system. You input new technology file system, and that is your answer. Task five, the Windows System 32 folder. 
the Windows folder. C Windows is traditionally known as the folder which contains the Windows operating system. Uh, right here is important to know this folder doesn't have to reside in the C drive necessarily. It can reside in any other drive and technically can reside in a different folder. Now, if, let's move here. Even though not discussed yet, the system environment variable for the Windows directory is percent when directory short and percent. Right here again, it gives you an overview of how to look at the folder. You'll see many files here. All these um, are important files. It's very critical uh, to try not to modify these if you don't know what you're doing because you can corrupt your operating system. Um, as it says here, you should proceed with extreme caution when interacting with this folder. Accidentally deleting any files or folder within System32 can render the OS in inoperational. And you can read more about it here. So let's go to our question. What is the system variable for the Windows folder? As we saw here, this is the variable. If we go here, input that, that would be our correct answer. Task Sysk, user account profiles and permissions. Users accounts can be one of the two types on a typical local Windows system, administrator and standard user. So I have my machine here deploy. Um, if I just highlight this here, it tells me I'm logged in as the administrator. Um, you could go along here. We'll go straight to the questions. Um, we're gonna run this command. So if you simply type run, it's a delay, let's go back, run, hit enter, it brings us with this prompt, we're going to type this right here, l-u-s-r-m-g-r dot m-s-c. Now this brings us to our local users and groups. Okay, what is the name of the other user account? So let's go to users. And right here, we have a try hack me account. We also have a guest account and we're logged in as the administrator. So we put try hack me Billy. That is the correct answer. Okay, what group is this user a member of? So if we go to try hack me and let's go to properties. And let's see, he's a member of remote desktop users and users. So if we type in remote desktop users and users, that'll give us the correct answer. Next question. What built-in accounts is for guest access to the computer? So that's pretty much self-explanatory. If we check here, there's a guest, built-in account for guest access. So guest is our answer. Next question, what is the account status? So they're referring to the guest account. Let's go to properties and let's check the status. Um, so if you see here, account is locked out, account is disabled. So we input account is disabled, that give us the correct answer. Tax seven, user account control. Okay, so I minimized the virtual box just so you get a better overview. Um, take the time to read this. Uh, the main point here is UAC user account control. It was first introduced in Windows Vista and continue on other versions of Windows. We're in Windows 11 now. Um, so Windows 11, Windows 10 has user account control. Scroll down a bit, it gives you, again, we ran this command. So first you type in run. Um, I won't do it on my personal computer. They had a Windows, not a Windows, a Wireshark application. And you see right here, it had the shield. So for you to, if you're, on, if you're not an administrator, it will ask you for the administrator password. As you saw last time, we were logged in as administrator. So we wouldn't have this issue if we wanted to run this application. Okay, so let's see what does UAC means. As we saw here, Microsoft introduced UAC, user account control. 
So your answer is user account control. Okay, as we go along, task eight, settings and the control panel. Many of you are pretty much familiar with the control panel. I won't spend too much time on it, but I will show you how to access it. There, there's many ways to access. Um, you can go through settings. It goes over the network and internet. You can find that here by clicking here, network and internet settings. Uh, change adapter options. Again, you'll go here. And if you click on this, it'll bring you the settings windows for network and internet. Um, choose your background if you and type type in wallpaper here it'll allow you to change the wallpaper and whatnot but we'll go straight to the question okay in the control panel change the view to small icons okay so let's do that first all right first want to go to control panel uh good things about windows that you could just type it now that will show up now what they're asking us is to view to small icons. So instead of viewing by categories, let's do small icons. Now we have all our options here. And what is the last settings in the control panel view? So the last one would be right here, Windows Defender Firewall. We input Windows Defender Firewall and that is our correct answer. Okay, task nine task manager okay the last subject that will be touched on this module is the task manager and right here you'll see some images on how to access it we'll go right ahead you also have keyboard shortcuts but they're not going to work i mean it, it will work but it will deploy on my local machine not the vm box so you don't want to do that you want to go here um task manager and we deploy it here, more details. And here you can see all your processes. You can refer to this blog post for more details information about the task manager. Uh, I won't go into much details. We'll just go straight to the question. What is the keyboard shortcut to open the task manager? Control shift escape. Now you could try this and if you do it, it's gonna deploy on your machine. So as you can see, this is my machine. These are the processes I have running compared to the virtual box. So as you can see, I have way more applications running. And that's how you, you can also do control, control, I'll control delete. And that'll pop up and it'll give you the option to deploy the task manager. Task 10, now we come to the conclusion. And it's almost like an overview of what we've done. Um, there's no answer needed here. And once you hit question done, you completed this room. Thank you for watching.